Good morning, folks. We're going to cover several items here today. We'll go over some geophysical events, some weather, including the annual report, an interesting bit taken from a migration study, and the electromagnetic impact on tiny life. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring is slightly lower today, and that is despite the dozen sunspot groups on the Earth facing half of the sun. On the incoming limb, we also see several plasma filaments. We're on eruption watch for the weekend and into next week. The sunspots are numerous, but most are not terribly complex. The departing southern sunspot group has a bit of magnetic mixing, but the big core on the equator is fully negative polarity. We'll keep watching their morphing as well. Folks, there have been more small earthquakes than normal along the island chain extending from Alaska, following the 5.9 near the coast in the East Pacific a couple days ago. There are also three volcanoes erupting. Hopefully these are enough to release the pressure, but there is certainly an uptick here that I don't see anyone else discussing. Eyes on that too. Check out this graphic from the Weather Channel. Their scale can't even match what's expected in the core of the cold storm coming through right now, which will head eastward after this Sunday outlook. Please stay warm, folks. And that takes us to the annual temperature report. Folks, this is what we're seeing all over the news. Hottest year ever. But veteran observers know what's coming. While they show qualitative maps like this with no blue except for the deep south, the quantitative maps show that several areas in the north were below average as well. This paints a different picture, wouldn't you say, when they actually put the numbers to the map. Up next, we're looking at a summary of four studies simultaneously published on the emergence of multiple sclerosis in Europe via migration of genetics. What's interesting is just as we have shown many times before how migrations in the past have followed major geophysical changes by up to 2,000 years, the three primary waves here were after the Lachamp excursion catastrophe, the Gothenburg excursion catastrophe, and the China event, or NOAA event, 6,000 years ago, each followed by about a thousand years. Last but not least, we have seen similar studies before on the electromagnetic field impact to microbes and viruses, and here they show how aspects are both inhibited and supported by low frequency fields. Remember, when the ongoing excursion hits its peak, nothing's going to escape its effects, big or small. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.